You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. It's Vegas. It's rock. It's dogs. It's Vegas Rock Dog Radio. A rock and roll show all about pets, people, and pop culture. Stand by for great guests and cool advice. All in one rocking hour. The phone lines are open at 702-483-4444. That's 702-483-4444. Now, let's bring on the host. Here is the rock and roll queen of dogs, Sam. Hello, I'm Sam, the queen of rock and roll dogs, and you're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio, a rock and roll show all about pets, people, and pop culture. And I'm live today from Las Vegas, and today's show is going to be full of British laughs (laughs) and some useful information. So before we get the uh, the show started, I want to actually tell you where you're going to find us on the internet, or the internets, or tinternets, as um, grandmas and grandpas say, tinternets. Um, and here we go. So the website, the main website is VegasRockDogRadio.com. You stream, and we are live. And before I even reveal my guest, you can see my guest if you're on our new stream my guests there's three there's three guests in studio today so you can go to ustream.tv our channel is vegas rock dog radio and you can see us on there live or you can look back at the show that we did previously our facebook page is vegas rock dog radio our twitter account is vegas rock dog show no w on the end vegas rock dog show no w the call in number is 702-483-4444 and as i say you're listening live and you're listening live through vegasallnetradio.com and if you ever have any issues listening through the actual website you can actually download the app for your apple devices or your droid devices and that makes it even easier on the go no excuses no excuses and that means you can listen worldwide or even on mars or venus (laughs) maybe aliens are listening to us from area 51 (laughs) you never know our instagram account is vegas rock dog i just posted uh, a couple of pictures on there that you will definitely like and if you want to pick up rock and roll clothing for you and your dog you can go to vegasrockdog.com now you'll need to know the blog name today because i've got a really fantastic giveaway that's already um launched and it will close at midnight tomorrow which is sunday and you're going to go to the rock and roll dog dot com. And I'm going to tell you about the giveaway later on in the show. If you're a Google Pluser, you can find me at Sam Ratcliffe and find the pages there also for the clothing company and the radio show. And here's a little bit of news. We now have an app for the radio show. So you're going to go to yap dot com. That's Y A P P dot com. And then you're going to find Vegas Rock Dog Radio. You can hear my guests talk chatting away already. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you'll be able to download the app there. You're going to be able to get, uh, be able to uh, see all the archive shows there, listen to an archive show. Uh, you'll be able to uh, click the Listen Live link on there. Photographs, video, the giveaways are on there. Updates, news, all in one convenient app on your phone. And <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> these, have been, these, these have been the most vocal guests I've had before an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, come on, get me on there straight away. So uh, before I introduce my guests, I'd like to do the tip of the week at the top of the show. So here we go. A lot of people do not have pet insurance, and, and they don't have pet insurance for many reasons. Some people simply cannot afford it. So what you do need to do, you need to have something in place to actually prepare should anything happen to your pets and cost you more than what you would normally spend during the year. So, you know, most people know they're going to spend X amount of money on, on vaccinations and, and kind of routine blood work and that kind of thing. But sometimes things crop up. You never really know. Like my dogs running through, uh, my God, um, a decorative ball thing. And both of them cut their feet wide open a few years ago. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at three in the morning. I never should have let them out for a wee. <laughs> I should have made them wait till I got up. And uh, that was a big expense. That's over a $1,000. And but they both of them cut their feet. So those things happen and they will be, be beyond your regular expenses for the year. So what you can do is you can take um, a little bit of money each month and uh, 
pop that in a piggy bank even it might not like you're getting a lot of interest these days in the bank account so you can actually start an account um, and put that money away every month or every week and uh, you'll see that grow each month and the good thing is that there is a there is a, a, a bright side to that is with insurance you pay each month and if you don't use it you're not getting your money back you're not you're not accruing you know, a big bank account, you know, uh, what you're actually doing is, um, is just paying each month for that, that insurance, you know, in case anything happens. But if you actually do have the cash to put a little bit away each month, of course, it's going to grow. And particularly when you've got young pets, you know, not a lot happens to them health wise while they're really, really young. So you'll probably see that money grow. And then each year, if you don't use it, just roll it right on over and it can just grow. And you just have a little bit extra. So uh, what you can do is you can skip, you can skip a coffee or two. Uh, each week, you know, coffee's not cheap. <laughs> it was what, five dollars for coffee? It's crazy. You ever think about it. But that can really, really add up. And you've got a little bit of a, um, a safety net there. So, um, that's a really easy thing that you can do if you cannot afford a full pet insurance. And, uh, like most of us do, we all sacrifice for our pets, you know. So, uh, and it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. And you're investing in your pets. So. I need to introduce my guests. <laughs> if you're watching Ustream, you can see what's going on right now. <laughs> I have. These are a first time. This is a first time episode. We've got two gorgeous cats in studio with, uh, well, actually, they're the owners. They're the owners. They own my guest. They own my guest. And she is a good friend, a very good friend of mine. And I want to welcome Claire Jane Vranian of... Oh, we've got, we've got applause. I love that. <laughs> we've got Claire Jane Vranian of Inspired by Claire Jane, ICJ UK. That's, that's what people know her by. She's a designer. She's a pet lover. I am. She's a Brit. <laughs> We have a lot of laughs. We do. We we've do. got we've got some good stories. We've got some really good stories. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that one New Year's Eve uh, that we did the Matt Goss New Year's Eve? I, I don't, how cold was it? We were nearly oh. crying when we left the hotel. And it was the high heeled shoes. Oh, <laughs> we were crippled and cold. <laughs> it was terrible. It was bad. We sat in the car shivering, <laughs> laughing and shivering, and our feet were killing. And what we had done? We'd been invited to a uh, pre taping of the New Year's Eve Vegas celebrations with Matt Goss from England. Yeah, and. Uh, we were in ball gowns, weren't we? we full were length, full fabulous, of course. <laughs> of course we were. Full length ball gowns. Feet were killing. And we weren't very glamorous walking across the parking oh, lot with our shoes in our No, heads, and so. anyone British that's listening in, we look like, what's the name? Two Soups. Bar <laughs> is Barbara, uh, what's the name? Thinky Walters. Julie Walters? Uh, Julie Walters, Julie yeah. Walters. We look like, we look like a, an 80-year-old um, waitress in a tea shop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. Do <laughs> <laughs> Doddering, I think we're killing. And we had a friend that fell down the stairs. Who was that? Brie, no like cheese. <laughs> she fell down the stairs and she thought it was hysterical. Not you, but Brie did. I'm like, you just fell all the whole way down the stairs in front of everyone. That was alcohol. She couldn't feel it. That's, <laughs> it numbed the whole sensation. Exactly. <laughs> so that's one of our stories, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, Claire Jay, how did we meet? We met through our friend Andy. Yes. We met through our, uh, my friend Andy. And uh, how did he meet you? I think it was through... Was it through your yeah, sister? I think he saw some of my designs with the Union Jacks on and said, you've got to meet my friend Samantha. Something like that, wasn't it? And yeah. then... And then um, it might have been through my sister, Amanda. Yeah, and then we were doing a big, we were doing a big British... <laughs> Andy and I were putting together a big, big British party for the expats here in town. And then Claire Jane started donating some stuff to the raffle. And that was a really fantastic crazy party as well that one hello <laughs> cleveland. so you can hear the meowing let me tell you about the meowing we've got cleveland and we've got chanel in studio and he, yes and he is right on on the mic i'm not kidding i think he you. wants to chat or he something <laughs> <laughs> now we've never had cats in the studio before we've had pot belly pigs we've had um Mon a monkey in the studio. Oh Hi, my buddy. god! These are not effects. This is real cats. We're not messing around, <laughs> honestly. Real, real cats. Life. Himalayan cats. Uh, they're, yes, they're gorgeous. I mean, really gorgeous. But it's the first to have the cats in the studio, and they came in. She's got this amazing pet carrier. That's. Oh, I'll post a picture because it's really. Fantastic. I think it's actually a dog carrier. <laughs> it's a dog yeah, carrier. Yeah, it's for dogs, but it's like it turns into a backpack. It's fantastic. And it's on wheels as well. It's so fantastic for cats. And it fits um, on aeroplanes as well. Oh, you see, it's fantastic. But your cats have travelled a lot, though, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they're great in the car, actually. Yeah, they, 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 they were okay this morning when they knew they weren't going to the vets or the groomers. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you want to come out and sit on mum's knee do you want to come out do you want to come out and sit on mummy's knee? It's going to get lost and tangled up in the wires down there. Though. I know, that's <laughs> the only thing on a concern is if they get under the board, that's going to be an interesting... Because they're only tiny. They're very small. What, they're like eight pounds? Um, I think, yeah, Chanel's like seven and a half and I think Cleveland's like eight yeah, point they're, four or something. They're li- <laughs> really tiny. So let me tell you about Claire. So um, I said we met through our mutual friend. And I met you with your mom, so your mom was visiting. Oh at yeah, the time. we met at Starbucks that we first met at that, time. Yeah. That creepy Starbucks. <laughs> 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 Sit there for an hour, yeah, and you'll not believe the sights that come into that Starbucks. But I like it. <laughs> That's the thing. I People like watching. I like that kind of thing. Um, and you just started. At the time, it was just inspired by Claire Jane. Yes, yeah, that's it? right. Yeah, and you just start started. Um, it was purses you started off Yeah, that's with. right. It was about six years ago. Um, <gasps> was it six years yeah, ago? Man. That I started, um, you know, sewing, hand sewing handbags. And, uh, and what, what made you start doing that? Because I know that you had a long career in uh, special effects for movies. Yeah, I worked in, in LA. Uh, yeah, be, behind, well, actually in the office, administration kind of stuff, um, but worked you know around ton of you know artists and yeah. directors actors and you know just amazingly talented people and um i kind of just get into that point where i wanted to do something for me yeah you know and express myself creatively and i started you know hand making handbags just like i said for me and then people were stopping me saying hey where'd you get that bag from that can great? i get one and i was like sure and they're like well how much and i'm like oh Ooh. um <laughs> you know and i wasn't really prepared so you know Cut a long story short, six years ago, something that started out as a passion and a hobby is now my full time yeah, business. She's and got I, a fancy sh- office, yeah, a showroom, a, and a office. showroom. <laughs> And, uh, there's a bar in there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's most, a social room. That's the mo- most important part, though, of the building. <laughs> it's funny how that's grown after oh, over six oh, years. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, definitely, when I look back at the prices now of what you charge back then, it's like, really? How, I know. How well, long was that? That's, what, that's the thing, because I was, you know, sitting there sewing and yeah. thinking, oh, people actually want this. Oh, this is really cool. And, yeah. you know, and then obviously once I was doing that, then I started the T-shirt stuff. So really, that's what really it's kind of launched it did, my it, career it into that kind of one thing business. to the next yeah. which I, I love because you know what hi <laughs> <laughs> i think the market dictates doesn't it oh yeah absolutely you know, when someone says can you do oh yeah and exactly. you have a good story about how you can you do oh i do <laughs> yeah oh i do <laughs> oh i do can you I can, <laughs> can you do it <laughs> no um it was with uh, you know mr elliot from death leopard yeah um i was at his house in dublin for his 50th birthday and his wonderful wife christine asked me she said you know i really love the handbags that you're making um can you make me some for my friends for christmas and i'm like absolutely you know that's a nice friend to uh, have. absolutely <laughs> um she said you know like 10 of them i was like oh wow i was like yes uh, fine no problem um that was like back in august so it was you know for christmas in december yeah. i had enough time but uh, then back then i was still going to la and working in the film industry so, so like you, i said it was really a hobby so you it know. was based on what time you had available exactly. so that you get them yeah. done. <laughs> and then um and then joe said to me he's like what you know make me something to wear on stage don't you think it's funny how it's a oh just make me yeah, that. exactly like because it's like it's well, easy. i think his actual words can you, you know make me a jacket to wear on stage or something oh. <laughs> and i remember sitting there thinking goodness i'm not that good at sewing <laughs> and I, went, I can design you a t-shirt there you go and that's basically how it happens and then you know using the union jack and yeah. skulls and wings and so all if you that. don't know who def uh, who def leopard are they're actually from my hometown of sheffield yes, they are. yes. Uh, Another synergy that we have. That's right. We have a, we have a lot of little connections <laughs> like do. that, don't we? We do. Um, gosh, when did when did they first come out? My gosh. Back in the seventies or eighties. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should do my homework on that that band. Eighty <laughs> one. Was it? Mike's telling us. Ooh. Mike's Mike's schooling us right now. Yeah. We should know a bit more. But hey, <laughs> uh, and they're still going strong. They are. They still going strong. They did their residency. Was it last year? Year before? Um, it was two thousand thirteen. I tell you what, the time is flying. It I keep saying to people it was last year, but it's actually the, it's year, the year before, before that. Twenty thirteen. Yeah. They did a nice residency in, in Vegas. Yeah, didn't for three they? weeks, and that was um, amazing for me because the Hard Rock Hotel here you know asked me to do a trunk show which was amazing yes. they didn't realize that i lived here and that joe was wearing my stuff on stage and it's around the corner from your house exactly <laughs> uh, how convenient um and they you know just sort of said would you, we'd love you to come in and do a trunk show for one night and i was like yeah, i'd love to do that and it was so sort of you know they were so successful they said would you want to come back the next night and because I went, how long was the residency it was 11 11 shows brilliant so i went every night 
to the, you know, every night to the, the Hard Rock uh, store where I had all my stuff set up. Fantastic. And it was one of the most, you know, humbling and gracious moments that I've ever had because I had, you know, so many of my wonderful customers coming up to me and meeting me. For the first time. Yeah, and it was almost, it almost like made me cry because they were so, everybody was so lovely. Isn't and nice? just, you know, enjoying my stuff and I was quite, kind of really blown away by it. Oh, my cat's oh, gone. <laughs> we've lost a cat. <laughs> oh, we've lost oh, a kitty. <laughs> is it coming oh, to say hello to you, Mike? He's coming over there. But no, that was one of the, you know, a really lovely moment for me. Yeah, because I think uh, how, what I love about Vegas is everybody shows up here anyway, oh, eventually. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you get to see people from school that you haven't seen for 20 odd years. Oh, yeah. Because everybody comes to everybody Vegas. Everybody comes out the woodwork. They're like, hey, we're in Vegas. Yeah, you're and, like, oh. But everybody wants to party and you kind of go, we live here and we have to work. And as you well, should so. probably give us some notice. Yeah. Because people do it once they arrive. And that makes it quite difficult, I think. But I love it when people say, we're coming to Vegas. And I usually go, oh, where are you staying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's always a good one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, no, I can't be dealing with all that. Unless it's my family, Or, or I say, where are you staying? Are, we, are you allergic to cats? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hey, I'm, maybe I'll have an, an imaginary cat at my house. <laughs> hey, where, got, where have you gone, Cleveland? Come on, puppy. I'm calling him, I'm calling him a puppy. Call he's like a cat dog though you throw him a ball yes, here to... I've witnessed that yep. in your house yeah Cleveland oh there you go yeah he can't get very far there's a wall he'd probably right jump there. up on that chair if you <laughs> come on up you want to come up isn't this great <laughs> people think we're mad we are <laughs> <laughs> with that same level of pet parents we don't call ourselves pet owners we're pet parents we are and we can yeah, well, aren't we we just well, these two go to the uh, the salon more than I do, oh, which I think is very important with this breed, with the Himalayans, yeah. because we have them shaved into the lion cuts. Which I love. And it's, it's much healthier for them because of, you know, fur balls and, yes. you know, and not to be gross, but if they, you know, round their bottoms, yes. make sure that they're shaved because they don't want any stragglers around the house. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not meant to say that, Anna. No. <laughs> hey, but it's people need to know the reality exactly. of it. But, no, but it's so much cleaner as well. You yeah, know? And, they, and they do, and they're, they're great, and it helps them with their digestive system as well. So that they're not, you know, licking and licking and licking so much yeah. fur all the time. What? Um, uh, how often do you take them to get groomed? Um, it's like every two months. Oh, that's oh. like the last one that I took them to. Well, all I did was got their ruffs uh, trimmed and yeah. their nails cut and their ears cleaned. You know, no, you know and not a full shave because it was a bit chilly here, wasn't it? It was. It was. They it, were shivering, so I'm like, I'm not going to shave them. I, don't I know. had to bring my succulents in, which I knew that when I posted that on Facebook, there were going to be some cheeky naughty yeah. comments, <laughs> and of course there were. Uh, but I, I get stressed out about my plants and my pets. Oh, <laughs> I was like, it's going to go down freezing, and I do not want to lose. These, these amazing collection of succulents that I've grown and propagated. What, and what are succulents? Succulents are... Oh, can't even Teach just, me. I'll show you. Show me your I'll ways you of gardening. <laughs> <laughs> How does your garden grow? <laughs> <laughs> what is that nursery rhyme? Uh, Mary, Mary, Mary quite, quite contrary. contrary. <laughs> you look kind of like her today. I love that. I, can't, I love that. And I do have the pink sparkly nail polish as well. you do. <laughs> We should have had a cup of tea. Uh, hello. Well, we should have had a... That's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't treat Tea and them. cakes. I just don't treat them well free, enough. of course. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about my succulents. I've got... Oh, a, I, I'm a, can I pick? <laughs> I've got a hair in my mouth. It's impossible it's to speak. It's not cat hair, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it could well be a cat hair. Um, I will bring you some succulents for your house. Oh. They're very easy, easy to grow and look after. They require very little water and they look fabulous so i will bring you some but i was concerned about those couple of cold days because I, oh, yeah. I was out there with bed sheets covering up roses well people don't realize that how cold vegas gets no. was, i had some people in um for ces last night they wanted to go out and party but i just had a glass of wine with them but um you know they were saying about the weather and they said oh it's we you know they're expecting it to be so they come from england they were thinking it was going to be boiling hot no. and i said no it's either boiling hot here or, oh. or freezing cold oh, or you windy. Find, you found yourself a spot. That's good. You like my bag. It's got a big British Union Jack flag on it. It's fantastic. It's okay. Bag. It's not icy, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it um, it, got, it gets really, really cold out here. So people are always surprised and believe it or not. There are still people that leave their pets outside, and uh, we definitely urge them. People always say, "Why, you know, why are you tell people to bring cats inside? It's Vegas or dogs." It's like, uh, well, my it cats don't go outside. Goes well, below occasionally, zero. Occasionally, my cats go outside, but obviously, 
You've got supervised. To, yeah, yeah. I'm like that with my dogs, and they don't get to go out and poop without me being there. Well, you know what? None of us get to go to the bathroom without our own, own pets. Do you want to come up here? Pet, yeah, okay. if you get a cat or a dog, you'll never go to the bathroom alone ever again. <laughs> no, <I know. laughs> On that note, yes. let's take a quick break. We're going to listen to some words from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio, me, Sam, your host, the queen of rock and roll dogs. We'll be right back. Life Radio, the number one pet radio network on the planet, joins forces with iHeartRadio to put the power of your pets in your pocket. Awesome. Download the iHeartRadio app and rock Pet Life Radio on your phone, on your tablet, on your Xbox, in your car. Pet talk, pet tunes, and fun pet times. Pet Life Radio and iHeartRadio. Positively possum. There's nothing more delicious and healthy than an old family recipe. And for over 50 years, our family's been creating them especially for your pets. Nutrisource Super Premium Pet Foods. Dog and cat food that's all natural, holistic, and organic. Nutrisource Pet Foods contain our patented Good for Life system for your pet's optimum health and well-being. So order now. Safe quality food made by our family for your furry family members. Go to NutrisourcePetFoods.com. From our family to yours, KL Family Brands. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Now, let's return to Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Here again, your host, the rock and roll queen of dogs, Sam. And we're back. You're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Me, Sam, your host, the queen of rock and roll dogs. And I've got fantastic, fantastic guests in today. I almost couldn't say that. I've got um, Claire Jane Varanian of Inspired by Claire Jane, which is ICJ UK, which everybody knows her by. Her two cats, Cleveland <laughs> and Chanel, who are running all of the studio. <laughs> they wouldn't sit in the cage hey, any longer they for do, their carrier. They're doing okay, though. How did you come up with their names? Well, Chanel, well, my yeah. little grey lady, because I love Chanel, of course. Um, actually, because I always wear Chanel perfume. That's Coco your Chanel. Signature. Yes, it is. I so like I had that. to name one of my kitties. Yeah. Um, now, Cleveland's name. Yeah. My husband yeah. wanted to call Cleveland, well, like, you know, when we got him, number two from Austin Powers. <laughs> and I'm like, no, we're not going to call a cat number two. Um, so he was like, you know, after much, you know, conversation between each other, um, he said, well, how about Cleveland? So when I walk in the house, I can say, hello, Cleveland. From Spinal Tap. So. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah, I love that. A little rock and roll exactly. reference there. So, hence oh. the name Chanel and Cleveland. It's nothing to do with And it. they're brother and sister. I know. They're yeah. so cute. Now, they're Himalayans, yeah? Yes, they are, yeah. They're really, really adorable. <laughs> <laughs> they're all over the studio like you really need to get on on uh, <laughs> on instagram <laughs> and see these pictures or get on you stream and see see what's going on here it's great i love it i love it <laughs> but um i was just uh, a couple of weeks ago i was mentioning that best friends animal sanctuary they had actually have a cat hiking program so you they tell you how to hike with your cat oh really i mean some cats like it some won't you know some, yeah. some like like closed in spaces like we've got going on here that hiking yeah. in a little little corner um but yeah they have a proper cat hiking program and wow. uh, i'm gonna send you a link for it Please. really really great and how to t- how to prepare for it and wow and, and if they like it great and if they don't i mean not all dogs like to hike no you know, some of them want to just stay on the couch so you know <laughs> <laughs> i think Cle- well cleveland's actually quite animated today but he's pretty chilled out most of the time <laughs> he thinks he's a rock star yeah he's a rock cat <laughs> oh look you're kissing each other oh brother and sister that's really cute tell everybody your website and where we can find you all over social media okay <laughs> well basically icjuk.com and you can find me on instagram um tumblr um, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, uh, Google Plus, Twitter, Twitter. Yeah, it's just ICJ UK. It's great that you got to get that um, uh, that name on all the platforms. Yes, oh, I, uh, I, yeah. I, I wasn't well, lucky enough with some of them. Um, at the beginning, when I was just inspired by Claire Jane, I just wanted to. Do, I was just ICJ, but when I actually went to 
you know, just shorten it to ICJ. It was already taken uh, ah, for the domain. So, so I was like, we'll put UK on the end because I'm from the UK. Perfect. So ICJ UK. So, you know, my business, official business name is inspired by Claire Jane LLC. I see. And then DBA ICJ UK. There you go. So now, you know, or ick juk, as ik, some people ik, say. Ick <laughs> juk. Is that not funny? Ik so juk. Like, what's ick juk? Is that funny? I'm like, hey, what's Google? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird you know weird name but it's funny when i have a shirt that says relax it's just icj uk and when my brother-in-law patrick was in miami and he said was walking through the airport so it's like what's ikchuk that and i don't know people say what does that stand for what is it but that's good then it gets people talking, talking about, about it, about it. Yeah. exactly so you've got um a heck of a lot of designs out right I now. I do now, yes. How I many think have I've you got, got about 17 different graphic designs. That's a lot. Yeah. And you do men's and women's. Yeah, I mean, I try when I design, I try and do unisex so it can be yeah. printed on, you know, um, sort of any style shirt. I think what a lot of people, particularly because um, you've got, obviously you have a lot of fans from Def Leppard yeah. and other rock bands and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're now in their 40s, early 50s and stuff. And 60s. So, and 60s 70s. 70s there you go <laughs> uh, but what I like is you know a lot of people when they get to that age put a little weight on and then they can't have a hard time finding t-shirts yeah. that fit great t-shirts I'm all about comfort yeah and I have to have, you know and I always say to people like a lot of people say to me oh well I wear a medium in this and I'm like hey but get a size a next size up just to be comfortable yeah I mean I'm in, a, I'm in a medium right now but I usually wear a small because you go from I do a uh, small up to 2X and some 3X in I some really, of my shirts. And, and I know you do really, really well on those bigger sizes, especially with the um, the 80s kind of Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I always say to people, you can just pull them off the shoulder. Yeah. And, you know, the, the dolmans and the wide neck Yeah, and so I, and I, I like that because I think, well, we everybody's, you know, aware that the fashion industry always seems to think hey, what a size 4 is normal for everyone. I know. It's, it's crazy. And I think it frustrates a lot of people because <laughs> yeah. they said, I'd love to have that, but gosh, they don't have the size I'm looking for. You yeah. Know? And you're definitely covering all bases. Yeah, with absolutely. That. And it's nice because I have, uh, you know, the customers which, you know, who shop with me usually come back and yeah. get something else if they like that style they know that they're gonna get the same quality as well and you do a lot of really nice little gifts in your I do. well i'm i think it's very packages. important to me if somebody's going to shop with me yeah. and they're going to spend their money with me i want to give them an experience and know where their money's going it's about quality and offering a service yeah. that they can't get anywhere else yeah you know and i always and i don't really advertise this but i wrap everything you know in leopard print paper yeah. i always include um you know a free gift and a handwritten note a thank you note but i sincerely appreciate appreciate everybody that shops with me yeah, it's because like i said if i it's like if i spend my money somewhere i want to make sure i'm getting the best value for my money and of, often there's a, a little gift in there sometimes it's a bracelet yeah. sometimes it's you know you, a scarf or something yeah, but I, you, and it's you know yeah. customers that shop with me regularly you know they they kind of know or they kind of you know say oh i love that and i, I haven't got that one yet and yeah you know and occasionally i just drop something no i think that's really you know. really nice and it's really different and I well, like, it, without uh, them i wouldn't have a business well this is it you know and i think um i think you have to just remember where you everybody has to remember where they start from yeah um, oh, uh, and yeah the people support them and and help them yeah. grow along the way and you've definitely grown from being in your house house to well now you're in your you, you've moved to a second location yes yes yeah no it was nice i moved you know the transition it was about a year but a year and three months ago i moved wow. out of the house and i moved my, my first um step was i actually moved into um you know temporary towers which was just like a, a condo but it was you know that i created it was like a two-bedroom place yeah. but you know one was an office and design room and one was the inventory room but then there was this big kitchen and living room which was like the showroom and that ended up being like it the social lovely. hang I which was fun we drank a few drinks in there it certainly <laughs> did young lady <laughs> hmm. and it wasn't Not always me. a cup of tea eh? <laughs> in the uh, afternoon exactly <laughs> <laughs> like giddy you do up. <laughs> like you do giddy up <laughs> um, and then when our uh, you know the lease was coming towards the end and I really felt that I you know instead of renewing there I really wanted to get more into a business space yeah. I, I had outgrown it to be honest with you. Yeah, you had. Because yeah. and now your new space is much bigger and you've managed to fill that too. Oh, easily. I have an <laughs> office, an inventory room, a showroom, your design the, room. the design room and the, the social, social room. room. Yes. 
And your lobby, you've got a nice lobby I as do. well. I do, I have a nice entrance and then it opens my up. chandelier. <laughs> One must always have a chandelier. <laughs> and then in the back, from your showroom, it opens up, the patio opens up uh, to yeah, the lovely, lovely to the, green, the green area. We should, we should do a, a tea party out there. I would so love to do a tea party. Long Island iced tea. <laughs> do you know the very first time I ever had those? Oh, oh my gosh. Me. We were working in Korea. We were with a dance show. We were on, an, uh, on a military, we had actually been invited onto a military base, which was great for us because we lived a Korean life. We were in Korea. And uh, it was the first time we were given uh, Long Island iced teas. And you know when you get to the point you've had too much to drink, you go, ooh, I think I should just really slow down. I can't relate, ma'am. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but what you just drink hadn't actually kicked in Oof. yet, even if you stopped. And we had to perform a show that night. My sister had to try... What were you performing? Uh, it was a dance show in this really fantastic hotel. We were a, a showgirl show, feathers and all. I had to get on feathers, fishnet what? tights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> professional ones that are at best when you're sober are horrible to pull on. And my sister, my twin sister Did was you? working, <laughs> trying to pull them on. I laid down, she put my makeup on. How I got through that show, I have no idea. But that was my Long Island iced tea experience. I promise you, I won't act like that at your Bless tea you. party. I'll, no. I'll be a little bit better. <laughs> it would just be tea and gluten-free <laughs> cakes. Now, talking about feathers, and actually back then I don't even know... how our, our costumes were made in Hong Kong. Right. So I don't know how our feathers were... Uh, how we garnered those feathers for the costumes we were all pre-made anyway but you work with a lot of feathers with your hair fascinators yep. and a lot of people don't know what they are but if you watch the royal family any event with the royal family or ascot or you know these kind of occasions you see these fantastic crazy looking head head pieces of feathers and, and net that's a fascinator and it's what we do in england everybody wears them it's what we do when you go to a wedding you stick one of those on your head it's yeah. not unusual it's not new to us definitely new to the states though uh, and you do work with feathers but you do work with cruelty free feathers I do that's yes. hard to say cruelty, cruelty free, free feathers, feathers. Say that I'm just going to go cruelty free feathers with a <laughs> feathers. V feathers with a V hello mate want some feathers <laughs> <laughs> yeah you open up your jacket one more from feathers uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody what cruelty free means because I think a lot of people don't fully understand what that means. Well, my feathers come, my peacock feathers come from the UK uh -huh. from a company called feathersuk.com, which you can check out. And, yes, um, the legit. The, yeah, the okay. feathers are basically ethically farmed, which means they fall off the birds, which, as you know, peacock feathers do shed. Yes. So, um, you know, that's where my, my feathers come from. And also, even when I first started out, you only have to, like, Google cruelty-free feathers, and there's tons, especially on Etsy, yes. uh, for suppliers. And, of course, um, the place in the UK, my peacock feathers are great from him, but also, you know, you can't guarantee you're going to get the same stuff because it's... <laughs> You never know, do Same you? birds. I Hello. mean, the birds. And sometimes they're small, they're different. big, so it's like... Yeah, you know. so you have to work with what you've got. Yeah. You've got, you got a hairball. Well, it <laughs> Not you, Claire. <laughs> 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 Um, so, but no, but that's, it's very it's very easy to do, you know, to just Google cruelty free feathers, and that's where I, you know. And I think that's important because I know people bring it up. I and know. it's usually people that bring it up. They're the ones standing there with a pair of leather shoes on <laughs> or a piece of steak hanging out of their exactly. teeth. Exactly. And they're like, "Where'd you get those feathers from?" And you're like, "Really?" I had somebody at the Hard Rock come up to me when I was doing the leopard thing, and she's standing there with her arms crossed, looking at the, you know, oh. feather handbags, oh. and she's like, well, "Where are the feathers from?" And I looked at her. I said, "Where's your leather handbag from?" <laughs> <laughs> and your leather shoes, you know. And she goes, well, I'm vegan. I said, but you're wearing leather. leather. And she said, oh, well, somebody bought this for me as a friend. I went, okay. Well, okay, but you're still wearing I said, no, my, my feathers are cruelty-free, you know. It's like... Yeah, you know, no, it's, it's, it's fashion, darling. I mean, it's, it's like relax. It, it is fa fashion, and you know what? I think there are so many. There's so many good faux, fa uh, like faux leathers. Oh yeah, now, and oh, there is. There's tons of really yeah. good stuff out there. Yeah, it's not as difficult as it used to be. Looking for, you know. Yeah. You know, leather look. I mean, I use or, a lot of silk flowers, and like the yeah. recently the new sort of summer bridal uh, collection I've just done, which is on my site icjuk.com. Uh, <laughs> you can see them on there, but they're just silk flowers and silk leaves, and, and they're really few. gorgeous. Yeah. And like you say, you were com you're coming up into wedding season. If it was England, it would be garden parties. Oh gosh, we need a garden party. Well, that's what we do at the back. That we're gonna have a garden party. That's what Please. we're gonna have. We're gonna be very British. Uh, did you have times where you just really, really want to be British like I have to do things that are British I have to watch British TV because it's just what we it's just you I do, just call my mother you miss, <laughs> you miss it don't you my mum has just got FaceTime now oh really oh it's hysterical yesterday she wanted to see all my new makeup and how I put it on and I got a new um, 
I got an airbrush makeup system for okay. Christmas that's fantastic. So I had to do a demo on that. But yeah, you, you are, sometimes it's just that need, I have to be British. Yeah, you know. well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm really lucky as well because both my sisters, you know, Emma yes. is in Los Angeles and Amanda's here in Vegas. So I'm very fortunate that's I get nice. to see them, you know, especially Amanda, at least once a week. Yes, it's And really then her nice. husband, Patrick's British. Well, he's from... From the Highlands, he's Scottish. He's, 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 he wears a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing under it, I'm sure. It's Patrick. I can't imagine he would wear anything, really. <laughs> I'd ask Amanda about that one. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, it's so just the need to be, to be British, you know. So the fascinators Oops. are a big, big part of, of, of our uh, culture and heritage. And I do love wearing hats. I have to say, I love I'm wearing one too. I, I love that. It's very kind of like Downton Abbey, rock and roll chic. Love it's it. It's because I had bad hair this morning. <laughs> and that's another good reason to wear a hat. <laughs> So does it state on your website that your feathers are cruel? Cr- yes, I have a whole right. section. If you go, it's a drop-down section. On the About section, it's all yep. about the feathers. That's so, really good. And I use um, genuine Swarovski crystals as well oh, that I put nice. on individually on some of the feather hats. Yeah, because you do. And you also customise some of the T-shirts, don't you, for people? If oh, they absolutely. Ask, yeah, if they ask the, for that. And they are genuine Swarovski crystals. I have a whole thing on my website about that as well. Yeah, so if you so want you, something, if you like one of her designs and, and it's just... You know, you, you just love that design, but you want it to be really, really extra special. She will actually customize them. And like she says, they are the real deal crystals. Yeah, she's not dealing with any old bit of tat, exactly. as we say in England. <laughs> old bit of tat. It's the real deal. And you though. use water-based inks? Yes, lead-free water-based inks on, on my T-shirts. Um, so a lot of the times uh, with the designs, because I'm, you know, I don't mass produce. I don't have, t- you know, I don't order like 3,000 T-shirts yeah. at a time. That's another thing. When people do order from me, they are truly, you know, getting the wearable yes. uh, piece of art. Yes. Because I print up usually, you know, between, you know, 24 and 48 pieces at a time. I don't mass run right. them because it's, I don't want to do that as a, you know, being a business owner. I don't want to ha- sit there with a bunch of inventory. Yeah, and especially when... You, uh, <laughs> Cash flow is a big thing, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And it's timing and cash flow, and you don't want to tie it all up in one design. No, it's, it's difficult because, you know, like I say, I bring out one design, I, I'm wearing it, it's only rock and roll. Yeah, but I, I like, like it. it. But I like it. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> this one, you know, I have, you know, I have a V-neck, a crew neck, dolman in the heather white in yeah. a vintage black now i have a hoodie in it so i have like five different it's styles within that then you've got all the sizes which are about five different sizes within that it's a lot. style and design so i think i've got now over like 450 skews now oh i know oh. inventory we, sh- we sh- moan sh- about that don't we oh. <laughs> like oh i'm doing inventory <laughs> I do have help. You do. Yeah, I do. Have, we want to give a little shout out. Yeah, it's uh, to uh, yeah Erica Thomas. She definitely helps me out a lot. <laughs> she's she comes great. in. Yeah, she's wonderful. And she's rock and roll. And she's got two doggies too. I know. I met them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we were out having a sandwich on the boulevard, and uh, I'd posted a picture where we were, and she on Facebook, and she replied back, "I'm watching you." Well, the only place I could see was Olympic Gardens, which is a strip club. <laughs> I thought, is she, does she work there? <laughs> she said, I can see you. I'm like, is she on the balcony at the Olympic Gardens? <laughs> anyway, she was actually behind us. And she came down, brought the dogs down. And uh, they're adorable. I mean, really yeah. adorable. So we love anyone that loves animals anyway. They exactly. get a, no, I think it's really, you know, I don't trust anybody that doesn't <laughs> like animals or drink. Yeah, you, <laughs> yes. If you don't like vodka and you don't, <laughs> and you don't like animals. <laughs> he popped his head up there when we said that. Oh, no, vodka. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you get points if you like those things with us <laughs> you definitely get a few points well listen let's and take tea. let's take another quick break and uh, we'll be right back uh, you listen to vegas rock dog radio with me sam your host the queen of rock and roll dogs and uh, we'll be back in a minute it's designer pet sweaters.com the latest fashion trends for our furry friends Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com 
Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, also known as the Pet Lady. I travel from coast to coast to pet trade shows and consumer events to scout out what the hottest, hippest, and most unique pet products are on the planet, bringing you tips and tricks from top veterinarians, groomers, trainers on how to safely travel and live happily with your pets. The Pet Lady will be in a city near you, showing off the latest and greatest tech pet gadgets, cozy comforts, and fab gift ideas for man's and woman's best friends. You can learn more at thepetlady.net or connect socially and tweet with me at Pet Lady World. Hi, this is Jody Miller Young from Bark and Swagger. Tune in for everything pet fashion and more. From fashion tips and runway trends, products and designs I love, to fabulous home decor for your furry friend, you'll find it all here. Be the first to discover the new. So what are you waiting for? Find me on Pet Life Radio. And remember, when fierce fashion calls, bark and swagger. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Vegas Rock Dog Radio continues. The phone lines are open at 702-483-4444. Now, here again, your host, Sam. Sam. And we're back. You're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio with me, Sam, your host, the queen of rock and roll dogs. And I've got three guests in studio today. I have Claire Jane Vrainian of ICJUK.com. Morning. <laughs> and Cleveland and Chanel, her two Himalayan cats. They're fantastic. I mean, they're really, they're tiny, they're beautiful, they're vocal, they're lovely. So, um, what would you, what was the most surprising thing that you, you found out when you started having cats? Not as in birth. <laughs> I gave birth to the cat. You never know. It was just fur, but you know, a couple of hairballs I coughed up, and then I went. What? Just how how sweet and loving, and how much I never had an animal. You know, never. I didn't grow up with pets. So this was a big. Yeah, it was step a big step and... for me, and I wasn't. I, you know, when we got them, I was like, oh, they're very sweet, aren't they? And then they just. <laughs> I'm just totally in love with them now. They just. Uh, they're my babies. <laughs> they just try to chew the cable. Well, and how loving they are. It's really, really sweet, and I know that. Um, I don't think a lot of people realise they, they they need their nap time. People think cats nap all the time, but they need their play time. Oh, they they're absolutely crazy. Oh, I, you, I mean they race around the house. Thank, thankfully, we've got like a you know nice long long living room. <laughs> long living room. They race up and down, and we've got scratching posts all over the place. But they still like the furniture better than the scratching. Oh, is, <laughs> why, why is that? It's I don't know. Terrible into now. Of course, they must love feathers. Um, yes, they get into all uh, this stuff. Actually. They were. I used to have when I started working at the house. I used to have a you know an extra room. Yeah, that was my work room, room. craft room. Everything was in there. <laughs> and they used to come in and sit with me when I used to work. But because they were you know around right at the beginning, they yeah. were. Oh, hello. Oh, they, oh, just fallen. Uh, the they were trained, and they were actually amazing. They used to tippy-toe over the feathers, and the only feathers they would play with was when I used to hold them, like the peacock feathers, the long oh, ones, and chase. They were amazing. And you should only play with your cats with toys, not with your hands. Because <laughs> otherwise you get scratched. Exactly. Yeah, people make that mistake. <laughs> really make that mistake. Because uh, they will scratch. It's as simple as that. So you've got to maintain their nails too. But play with them with their toys. Yeah, it's very important to get their nails trimmed down. It really, really is. Well, it's your furniture and everything. You and know. at all costs, never declaw your cat. No. Why it is still taught in veterinarian schools is beyond me. No. And this is not, oh, we took a nail out. No, no, no. It's an amputation I know, of I the d- first joint of the feet. So can you imagine if like the ends of your toes and your fingers were taken off? Like, and they go, oh, and they give them pain meds for a few hours. No. I, I've read some research that th- they struggle with pain for up to two weeks. Oh, I'm sure. Never declaw because you're no, taking I away something that's natural to them. It. Just because of your furniture. You know what? Teach Come them on. how to use a scratching post. You know, because uh, you can do that, you can praise them just as you do with dogs to encourage them to do that. But yeah, it's 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 barbaric. Yeah, and uh, I feel bad for veterinarians. That, you know, people that go to veterinarian school and then they realise they have to do that. 
um, and you're taking away a natural instinct and, and putting through a lot of pain, um, it, it changes their balance. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just horrific, you know. So I would hope in the future that that's no longer going to be taught and therefore people won't be able to request it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, because uh, that's not cool. It is an amputation of the first joint and half of the next um, uh, bone. So that's terrible. A lot of people don't know that. Um, let's go into something a little bit more jolly. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I feel depressed now. <laughs> <laughs> that is on that downer. But, well, some, cats but, we, <laughs> but we got to do warts and all on the show. You just have to. We you want do. to make sure you're informed and don't make mistakes. Uh, here's a really great, a great thing, though. Um, we've got this fantastic giving away, giveaway happening. Thanks to Claire Jane. And you're going to go over to www.therockandrolldog.com. And she's giving away one of her gorgeous fascinators. The colors are exciting. With it and delicious. They are delicious. Um, and it's valued at $150. So that's that's no cheap little no nope. hand, handmade by me, of course. I mean, really, really gorgeous. And we come in, you can wear a fascinator for so many, you know, events. You can do um like I say a tea party, a high tea, you can do a wedding, a baby shower, you know, if you cocktail do cocktail parties. Cocktails. Any, any, and this any, one's really great for summer, even Kentucky Derby. Oh, my gosh. The colours are just really, really good. It was it, I was either going to bring the fascinator with me or the cat. So uh, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I can wear the cat on my head. <laughs> How do you know I don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> bet you have. With their legs hanging around <laughs> your ears. I can bet she has. I bet you have. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a picture of that now. So if you want to actually enter, it's really easy. Go over to our blog the rock and roll dog.com you'll find the post because you'll see the gorgeous uh, photograph and actually leave a comment as to why you would like to win it and we've had some really really lovely entries up to now and lots of compliments for you oh that's good from lots Thank of people you. that already know you so they're in demand people really really love these fascinators and we uh, had one on mary wilson recently didn't we yes we that did was, uh, um, at andy's I event really recently did a show with my friend andy and um i put together the gift bags for our speakers and mary wilson was one of them and uh she, um, Claire Jane, very nicely. She donated a lot of stuff, but uh, the fascinator went to Mary. Uh, my husband was the one that dressed Mary that night. It's <laughs> 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 getting crazy, this show. And uh, she said, do you think I should wear it? It was, yes, get that on, Mary. So he helped <laughs> to put her fascinator on. And I happened to be up in the skybox watching Claire Jane's face because she didn't know that she was going to wear it on stage. And I just watched for her face. And when Mary walked out, she was like, oh! You know, so I text her. I'm like, you like that? It was lovely. <laughs> that was great? a lovely surprise. And such great press photos that they're wearing yeah, that too. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You know, and you've been a great supporter. I think of many, many charities, lots yep. of my events, and I have to thank you for that because uh, people get pretty excited when there's an ICJ UK item in an auction or a raffle, and that's I really appreciate that. Um, and you've helped a heck of a lot of charities. Yes, you? yeah, I and I think that's really important to give back. I do too because you know when a lot of people support you, you want to somehow show you know. Yeah, how you can be generous back, when and it you doesn't can. take much to do it. Either. No, it doesn't. It really, really doesn't. So let me tell you about a couple of things that are happening um, in town. Um, actually, I'm going to tell you who my uh, rescue of the week is. Friends of mine contacted me. Well, one friend of mine contacted me secretively and said, "I want to get a cat for my girlfriend without her knowing." Where do I go? So I gave him a list of, of rescues, and he ended up going to the all the same wild and tame dot com uh, rescue. And I think they, I don't know if they got one or two cats. I'm not sure, but uh, I said, well, I just look forward to seeing the pictures of Mona with the cat, you know. So I was thrilled to see that, and I'm glad that people contact me um, when they're looking for cats and dogs. I'll put you in the right direction, most definitely, when it comes to uh, helping an animal and rescuing an animal. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh, I'm loving these cats. Uh, my dogs will have a field day when I get home. So um, so that's my rescue of the week. There's um, a couple of things happening this weekend, and that is the circus is in town, which um, I don't like the circus. Uh, many people know that. I don't like I don't like SeaWorld. I don't like circuses. There's so much cruelty to get those animals to do what they do, do with bull hooks, uh, whips, chains. It's pretty horrific. And uh, here's the thing. If you actually saw the, you know, you can easily go and watch a circus and, oh, it's all showbiz and everything. But if you actually saw the abuse behind the scenes, you would, your stomach would turn. You would never be able to go and watch a circus ever again. Your money goes back into abuse. Just know that. So it's in town. There are some protests happening with a circus Pro, uh, protest.com people and uh, they are protests all over the country so you can go to the website and find out if there's one in your town or start one yourself and um, 
Uh, if you actually go to uh, circusprotest.com, uh, search for Vegas, there, there are protests going on uh, today and tomorrow, and there's three of them a day. People are serious about this. It's, the abuse is horrific, and it's, the circus is at the Orleans um, Casino. And, you know, you can also contact them in a very nice way and say, hey, it's time to progress, people. We don't need to see animal cruelty anymore. So um, uh, that's happening as well. I think that's a really important um, thing to, to focus on. And those people will be coming on the show in a couple of weeks. So we'll talk about the great work and the, the movement and how they're progressing. I'd also like to thank our sponsors for making the show happen every single week. Otherwise, it would just be me by myself. <laughs> me a mic <laughs> that would be it um and as of course we always like to close the show out with this and it is you can uh we want to remember that you can help a pet in need either rescue adopt donate volunteer or share their information rescue your next family member make sure he's got fur or feathers or something of that kind scales as well replace the word shop with adopt and be kind to all animals including circus animals so claire jane Chanel Cleveland, thank you so much for being on the show oh, today. Thank you for having us. We always have a good fun. time. We're very busy. We don't get together very often. So it's really nice that I've got a captive for a whole hour. And it's just, this is how we are when we see each other anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this could be just in Starbucks and just film it, you know, because <laughs> this is how we are. Without the cats. <laughs> no, no pretense, we're just ourselves, you know. So uh, tell everyone your website again. Um, you can find me at icjuk.com. And the fantastic giveaways on the rockandrolldog.com for the amazing fascinator. Um, and so it's going to end tomorrow night. So that'll be midnight on Sunday, and then we'll announce the winner on Monday. And then Claire Jane will get that shipped out to the winner. And then she'll have another big fan on her hands, because that's kind of how they become. Oh, thank customers you. become fans, don't they? And they become friends too. They do friends. I have so many good friends yeah. through my, my customers, and you know through Facebook. Yeah, and the support, everybody. You, you know who who you all are out there. You yeah, know, if you're listening in, make sure you go to uh, her page, give her a big shout out, and thanks for listening because of course we really appreciate it. Because today you have been listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio, where it's all about pets, people, and pop culture. I am your host, Sam, the Queen of Rock and Roll Dogs. Always kiss your pets. Good morning and good night. And take them to a radio show when you get a chance to do that. <laughs> and have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Thanks for listening in. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.